28 practices, you've got two, two scrimmages before that first game. Right? There's going to be parts of practice that are going to be awesome, and be parts of practice that are going to be really, really tough. Right? You've got to embrace the tough. Right? This is going to be hard. Right? If your conditioning was at the level that it was the other day, right, it's got to be at a higher point by the end of this week. Right? But you've got to work. Right? Got to come here to work, ready to go. All right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's gather on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Where the season uh, kind of goes for everybody right now. I know we had the Spain trip, uh, so we had some practices there uh, ahead of that trip. Um, you know, I still think there's some excitement level to be in the first official day of practice. Uh, just the way the calendar goes for a lot of us right now. I, I don't know that one season really ends before you start another one. Um, so maybe a little bit more anticlimactic than it used to be, uh, those of us that, uh, that have been doing this for a while. Uh, but there is an, a level of enthusiasm getting out here for that first official day. You know, there's no defending a championship, right? That championship was won. You know, that, that group last year was a special group and, and won the championship. And now this is a group that's chasing that one. Uh, nothing is anybody's right now. Uh, there's an open championship for this season that we talk about in the off season, talk about preparing. Uh, but really, once we start practice, this is really just about getting better from day to day and, and really focused on uh, next year's season or this season rather than last. Here we go. Getting Eddie Budnick back this year, I think, is a huge boom for this uh, for this team, for the program. You know, uh, Addie and, and, and Rachel um, and, and uh, Katie, uh, you got Maggie coming back, and all those guys have, have had their feet on the floor in, in big moments and big championship games and NCAA tournament games. Um, and then you got another group out there. You know, Steph Outerkirk has also played in an NCAA tournament game. Um, not with us, so I think there, there's newness there. You know, Faith and what she's done and getting Allie in here. Um, so you, you have some players that have, that have done it here, you have some players that have done it other places, and then I think we have a lot of really young talent in our program as well. Crash. Communication. It's a clip here at this spot at the end of it, right? Pretty good defense here at this spot. We have pretty good closeouts. We bother the ball. Probably have more things in um, and maybe installed than maybe we have before. But I still think it's such a brick by brick, brick by brick process, man. Like, you know, practice one has is, is got to be, hey, what, what are you, what are your, what is your identity, you know? And, and so we still have to kind of go back to ground zero, if you want to call it that. Maybe we did get a boost from the summer, uh, but for me, there, there's still seven, eight new kids out here. There's some kids coming back from injuries that this still has to feel like a day one part of the process, and, and we'll approach it like that.